We are currently providing the last mile service to hard to reach areas for the humanitarian organization and that project is currently in Juba. That's where we are providing that service to different companies and the NGOs. I'm sure some of you that have been to Southern Sudan. In the real life situation, as would be expected of them to manage, and the simulator is one of those that really shows you that you have qualified to be a pilot, to be a maintenance engineer, and so on and so forth. So, when Airsaf brings this state of the art equipment of a simulator, it is a big, big milestone to the industry in Uganda, the aviation industry, but also increase, increases on our technical skills, human resource skills in the country, which we are very, very badly lagging behind of because we have one set of technical people that are aging, and there are many examples here, and then a few that have qualified in the past. The component we are handling as AirServe is on giving them practical experience. People come out of school, but when they come out of school, they can't go direct to operating an aircraft. They need to go through training, rigorous training, hands-on training, which will enable them now to operate um, uh, an aircraft or even maintain an aircraft. Uh, so what we are doing as AirServe is that we've uh, committed... <laughs> 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 <laughs>